you're an artist on record. Your ultimate intimate conversation with your favorite artist. In this clip, we have musician, actor, writer, Wes Cage, his new music called The Wolf. Links are in our description down below. You might have heard the name, son of Nicholas Cage, Uncle Francis Ford Coppola. Well, he's going to talk about what happened with him a couple of years ago, him and Tommy Lee. Mm -mm -mm. Don't touch that dial. It all starts now. So Wes Cage, now I got to correct this so I know, because you got Weston and what West. It's like two ideas. You have Weston, the actor, you know, you know, then you have Wes, the musician. So is West the musician? Would that be your identity? Yeah, Wes, Wes Cage is definitely my music name. Okay, because I don't want to mess it up. You know, I know about you, and I don't need you to come out knocking on my door and trying to take care of me. That is Wes Cage, his latest single, The Wolf. You can check out the full video in our description down below, or just click on the icon right above here. Now, his father is famous actor, Nicholas Cage, and a few years back, Nick and Wes were at a Motley Crue show. And what happened? Did Wes turn into the wolf on Tommy Lee? Let's find the real story out now. I'll tell you something, listen. Any good dirt, any gossip, throw it here because we'll throw it, maybe Blabmouth will pick it up and they'll go, Wes said this and who cares? Just click, check out the music. Blabmouth, if you're watching, we'll get you something good. Just click, check out the music, don't come on. And everybody else out there, buy it. So don't be alligator arms. Just go check it out, click, and there'll be a link. Let me ask you, back in, in the day, this is old and you don't have to answer the tommy lee situation yeah. was that a was that a, a fake team z story or did you almost really get into a, an art fight with tommy lee it, it's real we almost did get into a fight did you guys um, make up now we <laughs> haven't uh we haven't talked uh, ever since that happened but i mean that would have been devastating for him <laughs> i mean what happened <laughs> what was the whole situation well so Vince Neal's uh, girlfriend, I think her name's Rain. I, I don't know if they're still together or not, but she had told me to go wait at this certain area backstage. So I'd waited, and Tommy Lee comes storming out from doing a show, and he shoulder checks me and says to get the fuck out of his way. And that's uh, as soon as he said that, uh, I saw red and just started to growl like a behemoth that i wanted to destroy him and uh basically security had gotten involved and um we uh i got i got escorted out but it, it was about to be a, a real a real fight but he, he he didn't look when i started yelling he didn't look like he was as um how would I say this? As aggressive as he started off, he, he didn't look like he. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't this the trilling tough, you know, guy that he was. Because how tall are you? I'm six four almost. Um, six four, you are. Yeah, about about with shoes on. Without, I'm about six three. But um, I think at that time though, when he started the fight with me, I was about. 270 pounds of muscle uh, so i mean i was definitely in my big early early 20s where i was lifting a lot and but um mar martial arts for me has been my like that's my third uh medium you know like i've been doing it since i was three and uh we almost had me go to the olympics and stuff like that for wrestling and wow so i think it would have been a Tommy would have uh, been very surprised. <laughs> so, so was your father there too? Because he's friends with Vince Neil, right? Yes, he was there. Um, he saw it all happen, and you know, I felt bad because um, I was, you know, I, I don't, I, I still wonder how I, I didn't damage my voice with screaming that loud. It was but, that loud, huh? Yeah, I, I was something about him disrespecting me. Yeah. It sent me to a absolute satanic level of <laughs> <laughs> after your thing. Did your dad say anything to you, like in your situation? Like, hey, Weston, you call you up, like, I, you can't be, you gotta do something. We gotta make peace here, like a good fellas thing. You know, we can't have this. He, um, he was definitely trying. Everyone wanted me to calm down, and I finally did. Um, after a couple hours, I mean, I was literally just 
I mean, the, the amount of anger in me was, was astonishing. Um, I mean, it was literally like an infinite amount of anger. Yeah. And I, I, I walked out of the, I felt so bad because I, I walked out of the car um, with my, um, I, I, I must have had this terrifying expression of anger on because when I walked out of the car, this this couple got really scared of my face and started screaming. I was like, oh my, it was like a, like a horror <laughs> film. <laughs> um, but, you know, my, my dad definitely, uh, he, he just was hoping that it would, it would get diffused and stuff. Um, but I finally did calm down. That's good. So in time, it all went away. Yeah, I, and then I, I had a little Valium that uh, I think someone had one of those to, to you know, bring down my aggression. Yeah, well, I understand. I relate to it. You know, I totally relate to what you what you what you went through that thing. But I'm glad we got the record straight. You know, so yeah. Now, now, if you were going to see Tom, you go, hey man, it's all over under the water under the bridge, right? To be like that, you know. Um. <laughs> <laughs> he's um i i don't know really because his i don't know what his response i think his response was that he had no comment but i would try to i would definitely try to avoid um yeah you know any any uh altercation where i'm i'm uh defending myself in court <laughs> I am working on new tracks um, and composing quite a bit. Uh, and then as for acting, I've been doing some stuff here and there. Um, and then uh, luckily, you know, my one of my, my most important aspirations was for me to find my, my queen, my true soulmate. And I finally prayed enough times where that, that came true. And I'm, uh, it'll be a uh, one year that we've been engaged uh, on the 24th of December. But, really? Really? Yeah, Congratulations. Right. Thank you so much. Yeah. So that was Wes Cage. And if you did enjoy this episode, make sure you check this episode unedited in our members only club. In the meantime, thank you for being here. You guys are all beautiful. And remember, who loves you, baby? We do. Make sure you subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Put your comments down below. And share this with somebody who loves rock and roll as much as we all do. Until then, everybody, we are out of here, children. Mwah. Thank you for watching and make sure you click on a box that pops up somewhere over here. You really might just enjoy that as well as you just enjoyed this.